Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today is May the 4th, I'm Gregor Scott Petri, and today guys, I'd like to show you the entire Star Wars collection, so I'll probably do a little quick bit reviews in between as well, so yeah, let's get right on it. And the first thing I've got is Star Wars The Skywalker Sega. It's basically the 9 movie collection, so... Which, obviously, you got... Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Episode 4, A New Hope. Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Episode 8, The Last Jedi. And last but not least, Episode 9, the Rise of Skywalker. So, you got obviously you got the Death Star picture, which I'll have to admit that is a really good design. So, same with the logos right here. So, I'll show you the discs real quick. So, you probably got episodes 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, and episode 9. So that is basically the nine, the nine movie collections. So I think I might have to rewatch some of those again. So yeah, I probably will be going back and it's there we go. So yeah, I'll have to give that a good watch again. So and yes, I still got Solo and I still got Solo and Rogue One, which are on my Disney Plus, which. I'll probably show you guys later on, later on in this video, so... Okay, so what else do I have? Okay, starting with these. I've got the... Star Wars The Clone Wars... I've got the Star Wars Collection... Star Wars The Clone Wars Collection... I obviously got seasons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the Lost Missions, Lost Missions, aka season 6. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, with season 6, well, yes, I really quite enjoy the story arcs, which was coming towards the end of the war. I mean, the story arcs are quite actually quite good. I'm quite getting into Revenge of the Sith, I have to say. Yes, it's... It's really quite good. So, yeah. What else do I have? Ah, there we go. Okay, I've also got... Star Wars Rebels. Seasons 1 to 4. And to be exactly honest with you guys... Star Wars Rebels... I think it's kind of like my, my personal favorite. So, well, most favorite, well, most favorite's the Clone Wars, but yeah. I mean, I don't have a, I don't think I have a specific favorite film. But, but hey, it's just all, it's just always anyway. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, and I've also got the. Angry Bird Luke Skywalker, which I probably got that from the Christmases a few years ago. And that's also quite true. <clears throat> and same with the uh, Well, Seasons of War, Star Wars Rebels, that was a Christmas that was a Christmas gift from like two years ago, I think. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> okay, so oh, apparently I'll show you these I'll show you these first. Okay, so the Oh, well, the next thing I have, well, yes, I I do collect lightsabers like these as well, but I do have the first two somewhere. Well, I honestly have the first two somewhere, but I might have a look for them at some point. And also, the next thing I have is the Luke Skywalker extendable lightsaber, which obviously the well, obviously the light effect still works, so. Yeah, I think this was the second lightsaber constructor that I've got from 
for like what Christmas like two years ago, two years ago now. But yeah, even I'm still collecting them today. So yeah, I think this was the first lightsaber. Well, actually constructing, well actually constructing lightsaber I've got. That from Christmas is like a like a when was it? I think it was like uh, two years ago, I think. Yeah, definitely two years ago. I wonder if it still works. So apparently, yes, it still works. So obviously that side's still having a bit of a um, link, but I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but I'll probably just have a look at it later. Hmm. And what else do I have? And... Um, and yes, I do collect these extendable lightsabers, so... And this is obviously a still look... This is obviously Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber of it. So yeah. For... To make something honest, yeah, I was a menace with these ones, so... Yeah. So yeah. And this, however... And this is one of the dark sabers, Which I probably got from Christmas last year. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I was a menace with this thing, so... Yeah, and again, the blade is the blade is a nice touch, so... Use it straight from the Clone Wars and Rebels. I'm not sure if they used it in the Mandalorian yet, but I'll have to find out. Which I'll probably show you in the next video, so yeah. So, obviously that is still works. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I was a menace with it. So, I'd say, yeah, it's quite alright. So, yeah, it was quite alright. So, yeah, those are the lightsaber stuff that I have, I got in the collection so far. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, moving on now. Next thing I'm going to show you is the Star Wars video games that I have. So... Which one should I start? That ah, doesn't matter anyway. So I think the start. I think I start this off with Star Wars Squadrons for the PS4. Well, to be exactly honest with you, I got this for my twenty-second birthday. It was like a year ago. Yeah, it was definitely a year ago. And I, I actually quite enjoy this. So. Yeah, even my dad and my brother, well actually my dad's got a copy of it for the Xbox and my brother's got it for his PS4 as well, so... Yeah, the game is quite alright. I mean, yeah, it's quite good. Still trying to get the hang of the controls here and there, so... Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, it's quite alright to me. It's quite enjoyable. Okay, the next thing that I've also got is Star Wars Battlefronts 1 and 2. Well, don't get me wrong, I mean, I really quite enjoy, I really quite enjoy playing the second one. I'm still needing to get in the hang with the first one, so, actually I might give the first one a give, I might need to give the first one a good whirl sometime. So, yeah. <laughs> I only quite enjoy some quite and play the second one, but I might need to get behind with the first one as well. Okay, the next thing I've got is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game is quite actually quite good. Well, yeah, some of the things are some levels were quite complicated here and there, but I might need to get the hang of it. Even my dad's got even my dad got. Even my dad's got this one for for the Xbox, so... But yeah, I might be able to teach him sometime. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, I've also got the... Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Well, yeah, I do remember playing this game. Well, yeah, I still got, I got the hang of the levels of it here and there. So... I actually, I think I might actually need to do a free play of it sometime, but, yeah. I think I'll do a free play of it sometime. 
And yes, I still also got the copy of it for the PlayStation Vita. I have to say, I might need to get this game a good world sometime, but I could be wrong. So, yeah. <clears throat> and the next thing I've also got is the Star Wars. F okay. Actually, I've got. Ooh, which one should I start? Well, actually, which one should I start? I've got the. Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes for the DS game. I'd say, yeah, I'm still trying to get the hang of the controls using the stylus to move the character here and there. I'd say the levels are quite a bit complicated, but I'm still trying to get, in, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. And um, the next thing I got is... Star Wars The Clone Wars Jedi Alliance. Well, yes, the game's the game is quite actually quite good some quite good so far. I think it's still kind of similar with Republic Heroes, but same thing again. But yeah, and yes, I still got the Star Wars The Clone Wars lightsaber duels for the Nintendo Wii, and the uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed for the Nintendo Wii as well. So. Yeah, I might show you guys some other time with that. And the next thing I got is Lego Star Wars The Complete Sega. Which already, which means you could probably play all six. Probably all six films in this game. So, yeah. Um, still might need to do a free play of that sometime as well. <clears throat> okay, the next thing that I have is... Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars for the Nintendo DS. I'll probably say, yes, the game is actually quite good. Well, actually, I'm still working on the free play of it for the minute. I mean, I've already done story mode of it anyway, so trying to unlock a few characters here and there, which I'm still trying to playable, I guess. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so the next thing I have is Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith for the, for the Nintendo DS. Well, yes, I still got the PS2. I still got the PS2 copy, which I'll probably show you later on. Or whenever I've done this. So, yeah. i probably say, comparing with, comparing with the DS version of it and the PS2 version of it, I mean, I say the DS version is a lot better than the uh, I mean, the first, even the copy of it. I mean, no offense to it. I mean, yeah. Okay, so if I can just bring this down. Actually, I got this little Kefisto Bob head pop figure, actually. So, yeah. I'd say Kefisto is one of my favorite Jedi characters. So, yeah. I mean, it's quite all right. Okay. <clears throat> Back to where was I? Oh, yes. Okay. I think I first thing... I think I'll start off with... Lego Star Wars 2. The complete... The original trilogy. And obviously, you could play this... For the, play, for the PlayStation 2. Which, I think I used to play it. But I could be wrong, but... I'm still trying to lock a few levels here and there. So yeah, I mean it's quite. I mean it's quite good. I mean you can often play like you could probably play from episodes four to six. I mean it's quite actually quite good. I must still need to do the play play of it out of this. So, yeah. <clears throat> and the next thing I've got is Lego Star Wars, the video game, and it's obviously for the PlayStation Two as well. And this is the platinum edition of it. Well, yes. I still... Well, yes. I played it like... Well, like multiple times or something. So, yeah. It's actually been... It's actually quite... It's actually quite good. So, yeah. Well, to be exactly honest with you, it's obviously quite, obviously quite good. 
so yeah it's actually been quite all right but yeah it's been quite all right i guess so yeah although i did well i did well i did like i was pretty bad with the levels like the first time of it but i seem to got the hang of it so yeah so yeah Okay. The next the I also have is the PlayStation 2 copy of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. And this is also a platinum edition. So to be exactly honest with you, I mean yes the levels can be frustrating here and there, but but yes it is quite well, yes, the game is quite enjoyable. But, yeah, it is quite enjoyable, but I'm actually going to unlock some of the characters, but I still, need, I still need to continue this game once I finish up the rest of it. So, yeah. I'd say the game is quite a bit enjoyable, but I quite prefer the DS version a lot better. <clears throat> so, yeah, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. The next thing I have is Star Wars Bounty Hunter. I'd say, yeah, actually, Star Wars, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, yes, it's quite, well, yes, it's actually quite good. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's actually quite good to be exactly honest with you. I mean, yeah, when you get to play as... Django Fett. I mean, yeah, it's cap. Well, yes, this is a. Oh, excuse me. Well, I said this is quite a good game to me. Exactly honest, but yes. So, I'd say the box details is actually quite good when you got Django Fett on the log. When you got Django Fett on the logo, I mean, that's actually quite good. Well, actually, it's quite. It's actually quite awesome to me. Exactly honest, but yeah. Okay, so moving on. I've also got the Star Wars Starfighter. I think this is also a one-player game as well. Which obviously you can fly Starfighters. I mean, to be exactly honest with you... Oh yeah, I'm still trying to get the hang with the controls here and there. But it's actually quite a good game. Well, actually, it's quite a good game to be exactly honest with you. Mm. So yeah. I might need to get that. I might, I might need to give that another world sometime. Okay, I also got, I also got Star Wars Spot of Fronts, one and two for the PlayStation Two. So I have to say both. I'd say both games are really quite good. I mean, I'm still needing to get. I'm still, I'm still trying to get the hang with the first one, but I might need to give the second. I might need to give, give the second one a good world. Um. Give the second, I might give the second one a good world some time. So yeah, I mean comparing with the original and the remaster of it, I have to say both of them are quite good. So yeah, they're obviously quite good as well. The next thing I have is Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, and yes, I still got the Nintendo Wii copy of it as well. Well, I still got a copy of it for the Nintendo Wii as well. I'd say this game. It's up. It's absolutely quite outstanding, to be exactly honest with you. I mean, the whole plot details. I mean, the the scenery, the story arc, and yes, it's actually quite good. Well, yes, some of the levels can be complicated sometimes, but yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, it's actually quite good as well. Okay, so the next thing I have is Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. <clears throat> Well, yes, I'm still doing the. Well, I'm still doing the tutorial of it. I mean, I mean, yes, it is a two-player game as well. I mean, it's, yeah, it's obviously quite good. Well, I have to say, I have to say to be exactly honest with you, I haven't played this game at all since. Oh, I, I don't know to be exactly honest with you, but I'll probably give that another whirl sometime. Okay, and this is the game 
I personally be bad at it. This is Star Wars Razor Revenge. Well, yes, I managed to got the I managed to get past the Tatooine level, but the rest of the levels, yeah. Well, depending to just avoid, trying to avoid the obstacles, plus trying to beat the dangerous pod races at the time. So, yes, it's pretty enjoyable. It is enjoyable, I guess, but. It's just not that easy when you got the mixture between the obstacle course and the dangerous racers themselves. So, yeah, I'm still need to, I still need the, uh, still need to get the hang of that. And last but not least, I've also got Star Wars: The Clone Wars for the PlayStation Two. But yeah, I'm still trying. I'm still on the. First level of it, but I'm still trying to still need to get the hang of that game. So believe me, well, I'm actually still trying to do a few levels of it. <clears throat> so that's my Star Wars films, lightsabers, and the video games collection. So I'm gonna move on now with the books that I have. And so the first one is Star Wars, Star Wars Jedi Council Acts of War. This is basically the pre. This is the story that begins before the Phantom Menace. So I'd say it's actually quite good. I mean, and yes, I did used to read this back in my school. So yeah, I mean, I mean, and I still even read the. Star Wars Clone Wars Avengers, or just any random Star Wars comics in general, so, yeah. I've also got the Star Wars Avengers in Wild Space. I think I still got, I think it's still, I think I still got some of the books somewhere, but I have to give those a read sometimes, so. I have to give those a read sometimes, so, yeah. I have to get those a read sometime. So yeah. And I've also got the... <clears throat> I've also got the... Star Wars... The Rebel Files. The Imperial Handbook. And of course... The Bounty Hunter Code. Which obviously three books I'm still... Getting a chance to read. At some point, but... I could be wrong, so, yeah. And the next thing I have is the Star Wars Expanded Edition Encyclopedia. Well, actually, Star Wars Updated and Expanded Encyclopedia. Captain Encyclopedia, so, yeah. I'd say this book is really good, but I even get cosplay ideas from this as well, so, yeah, that's also really good as well. And of course, I've also got the Star Wars Rebel Starfighter Owner's Workshop Manual from Heinz. It's obviously quite a good book, so I might give those a read sometime. So, yeah, it's quite actually quite good. And I've also got the drawing manual of it as well, which I'm still I'm still trying to draw one in Illustrator, but. Yeah, but I'll give it a try and see how it goes from there. And just for the record, Star Wars Clone Wars character and Encyclopedia. This is obviously my dad, so I'd say the book is quite good. It's also got the season seven characters as well. So yeah, it's actually quite. It's really quite good. So I have to get a copy. Of, I have to get a copy. Of, I'll just have to get a copy for myself sometime. So yeah. Okay, the next thing that I have is Star Wars Alien Archive. Well, yes, I still read. I still read this from time to time whenever I feel like wanted something like Creative Arts or something. So yeah. And of course, oh, if I just get this real quick, it's also watching that. Okay. And the next thing that I have is 
<clears throat> the ultimate Star Wars, the new edition. I'd say, yes, it's really quite good. Of those two tend to really from time to time for cosplay ideas. So, and last but not least, this also is my dad's. So, this is the Man Star Wars the Mandal um, the art of Star Wars the Mandalorian. So, yeah, I might I might give those I might need to give those a read sometimes. So, yeah, it's actually quite good. So, that's the Star Wars lightsabers books, DVDs and films, a video games collection. So, let's go right ahead to the next part. The next part of the video. And here we have the Disney Plus Star Wars channel. So this one right here is the new series called Star Wars The Bad Batch. I might be able to give that a watch sometime. You also got the Star Wars Miami's Vehicle Fly Throughs, Maggie Simpson in The Force Awakens from its snap, The Mandalorian. Season 7 of The Clone Wars. The Gallery of the Man... The Gallery of the Star Wars Mandalorian. Also got the... Series of it as well. This is also Star Wars... I've also got the... Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7. This is also Star Wars Resistance. Well, obviously this is Star Wars Rebels, like I showed you before. I've also got the Lego Star Wars The Freemaker Avengers and Droid Tales. And the two movies right here are Solo and Rogue One. A Star Wars story. So, yeah, but it's actually quite good. And you also got the Yoda, Yoda Chronicles. So, yeah, it's actually quite good. And if I... Scroll back up, if I could find it here somewhere. Let's see if I could find it somewhere. There's my... Well, I've also got the Resistant Rises, the Freemaker Shorts, Star Wars Rebel Shorts, Star Wars The Forces of Destiny, Empire of Dreams, the Star Wars, the story of the... Star Wars Trilogy, Star Wars The Clone Wars, the movie, and you also got the holiday special of it. So, yeah. And you also got the vintage Star Wars, so, uh, so yeah. Got the cat, you got the Cabin of Carnage, Ewoks The Battle of Endor, the story of the faithful Wookiee, Ewoks, and you got the Clone Wars Adventures. So... Yeah, and that is the Star Wars channel on the Disney Plus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. And remember, may the 4th be with you. Always. Peace.